She's nine weeks today. Her name is Bella. She's already crate trained. And I don't know if y'all have ever seen a dog that uses a cat litter box. I did not train her to do this, but there is that. that I know it's disgusting, sorry. But um, <laughs> that's how smart she is. She is unbelievable. She's nine weeks old, what, today? Nine weeks. She's half pit, half mastiff. And her name is Bella. She's got really big paws, too. Let me show you. Let me see them big old paws, girl. On my hand. Look, look how big her paws are. Oh, oh, don't bite my finger, Mama. But she is unbelievably smart. So this is the beginning of her journey. And this is the beginning of her journey. I found her on... Uh, I just basically, what did I do? I just did a Google search, and I found her in Wichita Falls, Texas. I bought her from a real nice lady, the, the mother of Bella was, uh, I think she was half um, American Pit, actually, and half Mastiff, and the dad, the father of Bella, is a red nosed pit, full blooded. So she is adorable. She's funny. And I'm just going to let y'all watch and see what y'all think about Bella. We also have two cats. Um, one of them is named Joker. I'm going to show you Joker. And he usually stays in, but my son has. Oh, this is Cloud. This is our other cat. Cloud, say hi. Say hi. He's gorgeous, and we love him. Joker is around here somewhere. He's gray. <clears throat> and he's real fluffy. He has Maine Coon in him. Uh, Bella, when she gets upset with us for telling her no or anything like that, she'll come and get this toy right here or anything on the floor, like our, sh you know, like house shoes or something, and she will tear it up. It is so funny, but she is so unbelievably smart. She's almost potty trained, guys, at nine weeks old. I love her so much. Let's just watch. We'll see what she does. Bella, do you love your mama? Do you love your mama? Yeah. Can I have a kiss? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, girl. She's a beautiful girl. Her loves her daddy too. Yeah. The reason I purchased her is because I had a pit, um, full blooded pit, <clears throat> and she looked a lot like her, except for, of course, her face was brown and her body was white with the brown spots same as the butt on the butt area it looks like she's got a little heart uh, her name was missy and she ended up getting parvo and so with this one i i wasn't up to uh I, I wasn't educated on parvo as i am now so she was well how old was she about t 11 weeks old Oh, okay. Well, she was she was running right at three months, and so I just kind of put it off. And the night that she ended up getting sick, I'm talking about Missy, not not this one here, but the one that passed away. Uh, she ended up getting parvo, and the night that she started throwing up, the I had walked her about four times that day too, because I was potty training. Well, I had a funny feeling in my gut, almost like a mother instinct. And that night, y'all, she started throwing up. She started diarrhea. And so we took her to the vet the next morning, which it was Saturday. So I rushed her to the vet. They did a 10-minute little test where they uh, stick a long Q-tip in their behind. And they came back and told me, yes, that she was positive for Parvo. And um, it broke my heart, y'all. It broke me down. I, I literally, I cried probably straight every single day for about a month. I was so unbelievably attached. And everybody said, don't get a puppy, don't get a puppy. 
you're gonna, you know, you're not over Missy yet. So I did wait. I waited. How long did I wait, babe? A couple of months. I did wait. And when I first got her, I felt a little awkward because I did want to compare her to Missy. And I felt a little guilty and all this other, and you know. But she, this little girl right here, my little Bella Mystique. That's her name, Bella Mystique. She has stolen my heart. She is probably probably the smartest dog that I have ever owned. I mean, this girl is unbelievable. I just want to take y'all on my little journey with her. Um, she's very young right now, and I'm going to show y'all, you know, as far as training her. I would like for her to be a protection dog. It's, I don't want her to be aggressive. I don't want her to have, you know, anger problems or nothing like that. But I do want to keep her more around just family, um, immediate family here in the household. She will be very, very um, trained in the sense of she's not going to be an attack dog or nothing like that. But, you know, she will be trained in the sense of if somebody is trying to break in or harm the family, she will probably do what she needs to do, whatever that is. And I, um, I want to... I want to train her, and I want to give y'all some techniques of training your puppies as well, crate training them, which you have to do it immediately. So when I first brought her home, I did let her sleep with us for probably about three to four days because I wanted that bond and that attachment with her. Um, so we did that, and as soon as I brought the crate out, cleaned it out, and got her little bed made and all her toys and stuff in it, um, she literally went straight to it because the lady I bought her from was already was already doing so. So I just leave the door open as you can see. I just got the door open and she comes in and out as she pleases. And at nighttime what I'll do is I'll close the door or if the cats are in I'll close the door so that they can eat without being bothered. And um, she has no problem with it. And at nighttime I do close it all night so she doesn't, you know, roam the the house and and poop or pee anywhere but yeah so this is kind of an introduction to to little bella mystique's journey and it's called my creations i'm not for sure if i'm going to change the name of this channel or you know start create another ch channel probably i'll just change the name but i do oh my god i'm so in love with this baby girl so, uh, yeah, that's about it.